In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for Cu plus HNO3. This is copper plus nitric acid. So when we look at this, it initially looks kind of like it might be a single displacement reaction. We have a metal, it's reacting with this compound here, but we don't see a metal by itself on the other side. So this isn't a single displacement reaction. Let's take a look at a table of common chemical reactions, kind of the major types that we'll see. So it's not a single replacement because we don't have that metal all by itself on the other side. It's not a double displacement because there's just one thing here. Can't be combustion. There's no carbon dioxide and water. Again, we don't really have a neutralization because we don't have an acid. And we do have an acid, but we don't have a base here. Can't be that and in synthesis and decomposition. So it's actually none of these things here on our list. It's not one of the common major types of reactions that you learn in general chemistry. There is another type of reaction, though, that we could talk about. So this is an example of what's called a redox reaction, reduction oxidation. That's because the oxidation states change for the copper and the nitrogen. Right now, copper by itself has an oxidation state of zero. The nitrogen here is plus five. Copper becomes plus two. That means that it's lost two electrons. And then the nitrogen here, it stays plus five for the nitrogen in the nitrate, but over here, it's plus four. So we had the oxygen losing electrons. That means it's oxidized. The nitrogen over here, it actually gained electrons, became less positive because it had more negative charge. So the nitrogen gained electrons and was reduced. So that's a redox reaction. If you need help with oxidation numbers, there's a card and then a link in the description. And if you need help balancing this equation, there's also a link as well. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for Cu plus HNO3. This is copper plus nitric acid. Thanks for watching.